So have you seen the interview of one of the guys that was a part of the group that killed Pop Smoke? He did an interview? Yeah, he just got out of jail. He was 16, around 16 when it happened. I believe he got like four years, ended up getting out of jail. He's about 20 now. And he just did an interview on No Jumper um, that a lot of people are mad about because he's talking about the murder and it's ugly as hell. I'll just give you, a, before we get into how ugly it is and why people are mad, this is pretty much what he had to say about it. I'm not sorry about nothing. No, it should never happen, but I ain't sorry. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back, but I ain't sorry. Like, mm -mm. niggas die every day. Like, he was rapping about it, all type of shit. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but... So a lot of people were angry, as they should be, because and actually met at the outlet called No Jumper, ran by a white man or owned by a white man named Adam 22. Got a problem with Adam 22, but they're saying that, you know, he kind of has a history of exploiting black pain and the worst part of hip hop and black culture for views and money. Mm -hmm. And now you have, you know, one of the juvenile, well, at the time, juvenile killers of a very famous rapper. And he's coming on here to not like get any closure, clarity, show any growth. There's nothing positive about this interview. Mm -mm. The only thing that he's doing is saying, I really don't fucking feel sorry about exactly. it. Exactly. That's what all he's saying. So it's I don't know. How do you, what do you, what, what did you feel when you saw that? You didn't see the whole interview, but just that part. I felt shame. Honestly, mm. I felt shame. Like, how, why is this being interviewed? Why is this being broadcasted? This is not something that, when he said niggas die every day, that got me. Cause I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But the fact you had, you killed somebody though. Yeah. And then the thing is, is that more than likely, I am pretty sure that you paid for this interview. So you pay for this man to come on and, the only way it would even be defensible is if there was something positive happening. But there's nothing positive here. He's not, like, all you're doing is putting all the people that cared about Pop Smoke, his friends, family, loved ones, through a lot of more trauma. Exactly. And making them angry, probably putting a target on this young man's yep. back. They probably wouldn't even bother him. Honestly, when you said he was doing an interview, I was like, he's going to get clout from this. Yeah. He's going to get clout, and it's a shame he's going to get clout from it. Exactly. And and for being gross. like this. Like, yeah. So they asked him, why did Pop Smoke die tonight? You got, because they asked him but basically, there was a lot of rumors around what happened. Was mm -hmm. this a setup? Was the girl that you know he with that set him up? Who? How did they know where he's at? Did they find his location from a picture? So he uh, from a from a um, from a story that he made on Instagram. So they were saying no, that's not what happened. Uh, and he kind of goes in. He doesn't give too much detail, but basically says that no, it was a straight up robbery. He wasn't set up. We just you know we're going to rob him, and you know this is what happened. I said I think I remember them saying too that they didn't expect him to be home. Exactly, yeah. And I feel like because a lot of people were saying it was a robbery gone wrong. No, and it was no one was intended to get hurt that night. Nobody was intended to get hurt. Nobody. So do you feel like drugs played a part in the situation? Like why why did he end up getting shot anyway? Like why? Especially I don't feel like the drugs was part of the situation. I just feel like, I don't know, we was just kids, being kids, being kids from the hood, and too much movement. That's all, too much movement. As a movement from Pop Smoke? Movement from everybody. In the house? Too much shit going on, it's too, too much shit going on. So it's just like, it wasn't intentionally. Wasn't we wasn't on that. You were pitching it, picturing it just being a in and out type of situation, or you, you didn't even know they were gonna be home, right? I didn't even know they was gonna be home. Mm. I don't know. It it is the story that I expected it to be. A lot of times, the most simple answer is the right answer. It's not no big conspiracy. You got a bunch of kids that figured out where this rapper was, mm -hmm. thought that they was going to go in and get it. They walk in. They're scared. They're low-key panicking. They don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing everything. Yeah, yelling, everybody's probably. fucking nervous. Nobody wants to go to jail. They're trying to hit a lick. Shit is, they don't know if somebody else is not, shit is not going the way it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Guns go off. And then... At the end of the day, with the way that the human mind works, you don't even have a memory of the event. You have your idea of what your memory of the event was. So, I mean, that's all it was. It's just a violent, dirty, kind of fucked up situation that happened. There is no real, like, positive lining in it. Mm -hmm. And this is, like, pure just fucking.
trash that y'all made? I don't know. It really is. There's no point to it. Like, yeah, we, he didn't than, really say anything that, other than like we didn't know. We didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a perspective. Like that's that's what I'm saying. I guess that's the problem. When you did, I can understand paying for the interview and even getting the interview. Yeah. But as a seasoned veteran, professional, high level individual that you run this podcast, you're, you know, uh, stat, uh, you are a staple in the um, in the community, in not even in the community, in the industry. Mm-hmm. And so I would think that after you t- had the interview, that you would be like, well. We don't have an angle here. Yeah. We can't say that he apologized. We can't say that we got some new information. We can't say nothing. It's just... Why don't you just scrap it? I like, think he like, should... That's my whole point. You should have scrapped it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, anything you want to add? It's a shame you only got four years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the thing. I'm not going to say... I don't think he was the one to pull the trigger. So I, I would... I understand how you end up in a situation like that. So I'm always like... Not saying not quick to judge, but I've been in situations where, like, the difference between me ending up in this exact situation is like us sitting on the couch. Hey, you want to hop in the car? Uh, hey, we're going to go hit this lick. You want to ride? Everybody yeah. laughing. And getting then 30 minutes later, we in the house with masks on, with guns in our hands, and shit just got real. So I understand how easily you can be right here and then right here yeah. and literally... Like, maybe not even that bad of a person. And especially, like you said, you wouldn't want, I mean, especially if he wasn't the one that pulled the trigger. So oh, yeah. I'm always, I, I have sympathy for that individual. But the problem is, is just in this particular situation, is that he's not showing any growth. And that's just yeah. sad to see. So, yeah. I don't know. 